Welcome to Best Reviews. This item has a rating of 4.4 out of 5 stars. A customer wrote, I ordered this phone on the day of release right after the launch event presentations blew me off my feet. I wanted to use it for at least a week before giving a review, to be as accurate as possible, and now I feel confident in saying that you can definitely believe the hype. This phone is the real deal. I am going way in depth with this review, trying to hit as many things as I can. Edit, invoice link since some people are so quick to discredit the reviews from non-verified purchase users, even though I stated it was bought direct from shop Blackberry. Purchase dated 924, review posted 10 thirds after about a week of use. It was available for hours on shop Blackberry before Amazon had it. So of course a lot of the first batch users did not purchase from Amazon which explains the few old verified purchase reviews. HTTP colon slash slash i dot dot com slash 53 um dot jpg first, the hardware, processor, Snapdragon 801, which is a tweaked 2.26 GHz quad core beast of a mobile processor, just like the one in the highly reviewed LG G3. Not that the super-efficient QNX-based BB10 OS needs that much horsepower, but it is nice to have. Apps open and close staggeringly fast, and the Peak and Flow Jester-based OS is a joy to use with so much horsepower under the hood. I'll get to that later. GPU, Adreno 330, clocked at 450 MHz. This GPU from Qualcomm is roughly 50% faster than the previous mobile GPU standard. Again, a productivity machine like the Passport doesn't need so much graphical power, but it sure is nice to have. 3D games like the strangely addictive Hungry Shark run smooth as butter, and it has no problem pushing the over 2 million pixels in the 1440 x 1440 display. Thank you for watching. Please give the thumbs up.